Alright, what is up YouTube? HPJ here coming at you guys with some information from the YGO organization and some more updates for Battles of Legends. So, if you guys have not seen this yet, the Battle of Legends information has been uh, revealed to us during the NAWCQ. And there's more information being released for the WCQ as we speak. At the current time, as I'm looking at my other phone, they said there is about 30 out of 60 secrets revealed and about 20 out of 40 of the ultras revealed. Now, there can be some more things unveiled uh, later today or throughout the next few weeks before this pack comes out. So if you guys are not familiar with the Battle of Legends pack, this is a new pack. This is the big pack that's getting printed with a lot of reprints and a lot of uh, newer cards getting added to the game. The first couple of cards that were printed, I mean, that were revealed, have been confirmed. And now these are more cards being confirmed for the Heroes, um, for the Heroes set. So, without further ado, let's get into it. So, I will not talk, I will not rename uh, any of the cards that have been seen through multiple print. Because these are prints from the cutting room uh, floor. And a lot of ultras, a lot of secrets. So, we have Interrupting Kaiju Slumber and Paria. We have... Dark Sacrifice, Thunder Wrestler Parat Pancratops, we have number 93, Utopia Kaiser, Artifact Lancia, Five God Dragon Alternate Art, TG Gear Zombie, and Sky Striker Mech Widow Anchor. Next up, we have a picture that holds a uh, high speed roid, uh, Kite Drake, Fission Fusion, Sky Striker Ace Ray, Net Claw Cycle, Sky Striker Mobilize and Gates, Salaman Great Al Mirage, uh, Vision Hero Violon, and then the next picture holds Vision Fusion, Vision uh, Hero Increase, Trap Tricks Saria, Hyper Speed Roar River Band Shooter, Harpy Conductor, uh, Fortune Fairy Hikari, and Vision Hero Ferris. Next picture that shows is uh, Herald of Arc Light, number 76, Harmonizing Gadelia, or, I mean, yeah, Gadella, 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 uh, Vision Hero Multiply Guy, White Dragon Wyvern Buster, Vision Hero Trinity, Fortune Fairy Anne, Luna Light Crimson Fox, Battle Wasp Dart the Hunter, Battle Wasp Twin Bow the Attacker, and then the next card is Lucky Loan, Foolish Burial Reprint, uh, Magical Musketeer Max, uh, Revival Swarm, Water of Life, Artifact Scythe, uh, Vision Hero Gravito, Fortune Fairy Hue, and number six, number twenty six, uh, Speed Spaceway Octo Bypass. And then the last picture that was seen to us is uh, Vision is a uh, well we have the first three the reprints and then we have uh, Will of the Salamangrate. Ultra Rare, Battle Wasp, uh, Ballista, the Armageddon, Shadal Beast, uh, Battle Wasp, Sting, the Poison, number 60, uh, Degris, the Timeless, and Vision Release. So there's been, um, a number of, of announcements about this. There's been some more updates. Um, I cannot confirm all the updates at this current time because, uh, they're, some coming from all over the place during the WCQ. But I am very excited about this because when we have the, the print of, of Harpy Conductor in TCG. And as you guys know, I have been waiting for this. I'm going to give you guys a big increase on this. So this is what she looks like here in the TCG. She looks beautiful. This is her secret. She's secret rare. Um, the only big changes, of course, is that her breast reduction her breast size had to be reduced and then where they show her stomach and her cleavage they put a purple sash or i think a purple shirt set up to cover that up which we kind of figured there was leaks of this actually through the from korea there's a korean map with hyper conductor on it that showed this exact same design so this is confirmed the design that Harpy Conductor will have. I'm also very excited for this little lady right here. This is Fortune Fairy Hikari. This is uh, one of the cards that was released in the OCG during their premium pack set. And she's going to be coming to the TCG. I'm very excited for this because, of course, I am building 
uh, fortune ladies and this is one of the support cards that will help fortune ladies um in terms of just summoning fortune lady light or taking advantage of fortune lady light's effect when she leaves the field so we have fortune fairy hikari coming to us uh this is salamangrate almiraj almiraj is the other salamangrate monster that was in the OCG. You take one normal solar monster with a thousand or less attack quick effect. You can tribute this card and target one monster your opponent controls. It cannot be destroyed. No, target one monster you control. It cannot be destroyed in battle uh, or by your opponent's card effect. Uh, um, hold on, because I'm reading it. Says. Yeah, for this turn, when a normal solar monster you control is destroyed by battle, while this card is in your grave, you should summon this card to the field and you only use. This effect of Salamangre Amirage once per turn. So even though it has zero attack points, you're pretty much just using this monster to help you uh, fill up your your board with Salamangre so you can get the other ones going. We have Tratrix Sarah, and she is beautiful. This is very beautiful. This is um, the Tratrix Soup monster. So one non-linked Tratrix monster, this link con seven card is unaffected by traps. You can only use each effect of the following uh, effect of trap tricks Sarah once per turn and not during the damage step. If you know if a normal trap card is activated, you can send someone trap tricks monster from your deck with a different name than the cards you control. Uh, if another trap tricks monster effect is activated, you can set one normal trap hole card from your deck. So she speeds up her archetype, she protects herself from. Uh, card effect. No, she protects herself from being affected by trap cards, which is amazing. And she can easily get, uh, she starts to summon trap tricks monsters, and she can, uh, search for trap hole cards. So, she's flowing through her deck. Um, I'm not too keen with the Vision Heroes, but I'm glad to see them. And Vision Hero Increase is actually one of the monsters featured on the set's, uh, box art. Um, we do have reprints, of course, of Interrupting Kaiju Slumper, so I wouldn't be surprised if that card dropped or went up in price because of this um, unveiling. I'm really excited about this. This is actually, I apologize because I, I hate when I press back, but then when I press back, it pressed back onto um, the thing. So ignore the ads as it pops up. But we do have, of course, Lancia's reprint as well as Paratops's reprint um, in the TCG. We have the alternate art of five-headed dragon. So if you guys are, if anyone's a collector, bam, you got a reprint of five-headed dragon. And I also do believe someone said that there's going to be a re. No, I'm sorry, I'm thinking the OCG's reprint of a uh, dragon smear. But there's Pankertops right there. If you guys are looking into that, as well as high rarity of artifact Lancia. Then I'm looking over here at the Widow Anchor. We don't know exactly what the situation is going to be with um, the Sky Striker Ace cards. Because we don't know how far into print the Sky Striker Ace additional cards will be right now. Uh, due to the market. Because they're all getting printed in the same rarity that they once were. So, which doesn't surprise me one. Because if you looked at the box art for um, the poster that came out. Strike Shaker is Widow Ink. No, that's very easy. Like her. Um, what is her name? Ray. Strike Shaker Ace Ray. She's still secret. And I think that's either a jump up from what she was or not. Um, I'm actually going to. Thought I'd move this over. Whatever. Uh, we're going to take another look at. Okay, well, there she is right there. There's Strike Shaker Ace Ray. In Rarity, we have the new. Hi we have one of the Hyper Speed Roid Synchro Monsters. Um, but I can't remember his name off the top of my head. Uh, no, we're gonna go back. All right, there we go. Um, there is Mobilize Engage, if anyone's looking. I was trying to get a better picture of it, but actually, yeah, let's actually take a look at the better picture of it and see. If this, if this picture doesn't come out too blurry, it's gonna come out blurry. But they said they're gonna have in better photos of it later on. So that way we can see it. But yeah, there is. Oh, we already seen this picture with Conductor in them. We're going to take a look at Anne. We're going to take a look at uh, the Crimson Fox and Wyvern Buster. She's getting a reprint, which I wouldn't be surprised if Dark Catapult got one uh, as well. Fortune Fairy. And we have the Battle 
wasp monsters coming here as well. Those guys look destructive. Oh, wow. And then some more of the Vision Heroes. We got number six, number 76. Uh, the Harmonizer here. She, that is beautiful artwork. And she's using a, um, a cute electric keyboard as a sword. That is amazing. I heard her effect is actually really, really good. So, um, I'll be looking to her for some rank 7 plays as well. Uh, move along to the next page. And I think this is the second to last. Yeah, the second to last. Well, we have, uh, Lone. Uh, Foolish Burial as a reprint. That's a nice reprint as an Ultra. There's your Ultra Size, which means the Ultra Size that people were having over for kind of just dropped now because there's going to be two prints of it. Then we have Fortune Fairy Hue. Uh, when this card is drawn, you can reveal it in a special summon from your hand. When this card is special summon, you target one of your banished spellcaster type monsters and add it to your hand. Um, so she will help with the new Fortune Lady support coming out. Uh, in conjunction with the Fortune Fairy support. This number six, this number uh, 26, Spaceway Octo Bypass. It's, it's actually a really decent looking monster. Um, her defect wasn't too bad, but it more so of a the protection to itself. Um, and then we'll look at the last picture, of course, which I believe is, yeah, which is this one. With the Shadal Beast, the Ultra Will of the Silent Mangrate. Uh, we have Ballista, the Armageddon, which is the Synchro Monster for the Battle Wasp. Um, we also have the Timeless down here. And we have Vision Release. So it's not too bad of a looking stat. And I'm really, really excited for it. Oh, they even have a tuner. Oh, good. Well, of course, they'd have to have a tuner for that, but... All right, so I will leave everything else for you guys in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I will catch you guys next time. Uh, don't forget to also hit up my Twitter, my Twitch page, and some of my Twitter stuff. And I will catch you guys then. ACJ signing out.